Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to a Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So, I know I haven't posted a video on my channel in quite some time, but I've been busy with uh, my day job and uh, regular life stuff. But I do plan on making some more videos in uh, 2023, in the new year coming up. Um, I'm, I want to make a... Uh, I've done one video so far on how to use 3D models to help you draw uh, your figures, uh, but I, w uh, I want to continue that series or make it into a series. So if you're interested in that, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, the other reason you might want to subscribe is that I have a, a uh, video library on how to use uh, various uh, tools on Clip Studio Paint. And if you have any questions on maybe some tools that I haven't covered, you can comment on any of my videos. And uh, when I see that, I will either try to explain uh, how to use it uh, with the reply, or I might make a tutorial video about it. Um, so for this uh, tutorial video, what I wanted to show you guys is uh, I did a previous video on how to make your drawings pop out of a comic book frame. And uh, when I did that, it was kind of a, a workaround. Uh, but because I didn't know that Clip Studio Paint actually provides a tool uh, that allows you to make your drawings pop out of a frame without losing the properties of the frame tool. So let's get started here so here I have uh, a four panel uh, comic book page and I'm going to put a drawing in the first panel but it's going to pop out and it's going to pop out to the to the second frame uh, now this is just an example but for whatever reason you want to create a comic book uh, where one of your characters is popping out of the frame the Obviously, what you can see if if you create uh, the if you put the raster layer above the frame, you you can still see the gutter inside the character here, and we don't want that. Plus, uh, having the raster layer outside of the frame folder, you're not really using the frame properties because let's say uh, you want to um, color uh, or draw something in the background of this character then uh, you see you, you you're kind of drawing outside of of the frame right and let's say you have some trees or something or maybe uh, some buildings whatever you have on the background uh, it's going outside of the um, you can still see it outside of the frame. So, a frame uh, tool, what it, a frame tool allows you is that you can see that the anything outside the frame is now purple, which is uh, it's masked off. Which is, if you look over here in the um, layers uh, uh, section over here, this uh, black uh, area here is what this is a mask. And so inside the folder you have, you can have multiple raster layers of your drawings. But because it is inside the uh, border or frame folder, you, it's masking off your character's arm. So what I would do uh, when I want to uh, make my drawing pop out of the frame, for the moment I would drag it outside of the frame just so I can see it. But what you want to do is click on the folder on your in your layers list uh, select the folder not not the layers inside the folder but the actual uh, border frame uh, folder and you want to select uh, you want to select the uh, frame on the left hand side of the icons select the frame again and under the frame subtools you'll see uh, frame border pin you want to select that that one right there now 
when you select the frame border pin in the uh, tool properties which is over here uh, you can see that there's a box that says draw border I'm going to deselect that so I'm not going to draw uh, whatever I draw um, will uh, not have a border around it and I'll show you why we don't want that on now here on the how to add make sure that is you're adding to the selected border that means whatever extra we're going to draw is going to be part of that frame if you have it on create a new folder it's just going to create a new border folder and you don't want that so you want to select add to uh, selected folder and it's going to be a raster layer and uh, so now since we put our drawing on top of our frame we only did that so we can see it again make sure you're selected on the frame uh, folder so now you can see your little icon on your screen here and all I'm going to do is just draw as close as possible to your drawing that you want popped out and see, see now what you actually did you cut away from you cut away the mask so that that particular part of your drawing will show up again if you had the draw border selected you can come over here to the pin and let's say you want a size 30 and if you were to draw you can see that your um, you now drew a border on the extra part of of your frame and you don't want that so make sure that the draw border selection is checked off once you've uh, cut away the mask you can put that raster layer back into your frame border uh, folder and if you click if you select see now you have um, now you have your characters popping out of the frame but the the background that you drew is still inside the frame so because everything is still using the folder properties anything you draw will not show up outside of the mask so you still have that now the, you can see like I said I try to get as close as possible to the drawing if you can kind of see a little bit of the building here you can always erase it you know and of course the the closer you draw the extra uh, or the cutaway of the frame uh, the closer the, the gutter lines will be to your drawing uh, but yeah that's a really quick and easy uh, way to make your characters pop out of a frame and you still have the frame properties on that drawing so I hope this was informative I uh, hope you learned something and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, again remember to uh, subscribe Con please consider subscribing if you want uh, tips and uh, tricks on Clip Studio Paint. If you have any questions, again, uh, just leave a comment on any of my videos and hopefully I see it and I can respond uh, to your comment. If not, like I said, I, I'll try to make a, a video on how to, to use that tool. Uh, again, thank you very much and uh, see you guys next year, I hope.